Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Okay, so I, if I understand correctly, you have installed Amwell doors that are yeah. probably 20 plus years old. And yeah, they, they're from about 85. 1985. 1985, okay. And you, and, and they need to become fire rated doors. Yes, uh, they have labels on them, but we can't read them. Uh, it looks uh, almost like it says, uh, and it says you can read Amwell real good and stuff, but it looks like it says, uh, like series, it looks like about 4,500 is what it looks like. I know there's two zeros and it looks like a four and maybe, maybe a five could be, a, I don't know how many numbers that made between that, you know, four, yeah. five, zero, zero, but you can read that, but you just can't read the whole deal on the labels. Right. Um, how many doors are there? We have three sets of fire doors with the M weld uh, that we can't read the the yeah. label on. I, so there'd be I six doors actually, and six yeah. three frames, six doors. Uh, oh, the frames have to be replaced as well. They don't have labels on them or readable, uh, legible. Yeah, they're not readable. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the bottom line is this: you would. You, you really have two options. Option A is to contact the testing laboratory, which is probably Underwriters Laboratory, or it might be Intertech, Warnock Hersey. Um, and you would basically tell them what you just said. I've got existing material. The labels aren't legible. Can I get a um, – we have to have a an engineering review of the material. A field rep has to come out, inspect the material, and then potentially relabel them. If – there's no reason that those doors can't be labeled. They'll label them. That's very okay. expensive to do that. Um, I Last time I had heard, it was $500 just to get someone to show up. Um, and then you have no guarantee that it's going to work. The other side is that you order three new frames and six new doors, um, which if you are not under – because there is there is so much of an unknown whether or not they would be eligible for relabel or recertification, you might need to weigh if uh, if time is a constraint, which way to go. Okay, so uh, you said contact the underwriter laboratory or who else? Uh, the other one would be Intertech, I N T E R T E K, and. Can you read, so I-N-T-E-R-T-E-K, Intertech, um, can you read anything uh, uh, other than that? Do you see a UL? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let me look here real quick. Uh, let's see what it says here. i got some pictures. It's probably, under, it's probably under Rise Laboratory. Back, yeah, you I know, believe from, it is. Yeah, I mean, you know, what are we dealing with 35 years ago? Um so I would contact them and, and, and simply explain what you just said. I've got material in the field. I need to have it reviewed for potential recertification. Um, and they have to put eyes on the material, um, either them or a third party that they work with. Um, it's done all the time. Um, you know, is there anything about the doors that would make you think that they would not be uh, sufficient for uh, eligibility? Only Are one of them had some rust on it, but it. Uh, the state inspector said we could put a metal door guard uh, sure. over that part of it and cover yeah, it. Yeah, so you clean that, that Um You know, the issue is uh, UL is going to have um, the – because Amweld was a client of theirs, meaning they were – they had their products tested by Underwriters Laboratory at some point – they were then issued labels that they could then apply to their doors and frames and certify them as compliant with the original test. So they would be the best people to communicate to, assuming they keep records that old. I bet they've got records going back a lot longer than that would be my guess. Um, at the end of the day, if this sounds like it's going to be super expensive, it's it's a matter of just new doors and frames um, at that point. Do you know how much new doors and frames cost on average? Like, depending on what yeah. size they are, but uh, yeah, sure. 
serve. So, you know, a, a 307 Odorn frame could be maybe $600. A pair of doors, you're going to be pushing $1,000. Um, so, yeah, it, it's not it's not inexpensive um, at all, but you might be faced with that eventuality. Are there any large pieces of glass in this material? They have a small window in them, uh, probably it's only maybe 15 inches by 15, something like that, 16 by 16. Yeah, that's going to absolutely be a, a, a major problem. Um, so even if you were – so that, that, that existing piece of glass is absolutely not code compliant, guaranteed. You're going to have to replace that window, any of those lights for sure. Um, ceramic glass or you – know, what, what rating do you have to hit? I'm not really sure. I don't I don't know what the rating is for it. I mean, the, for Oklahoma on their state inspection, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. What, what well, well, I mean, I mean it depends is, on, it, on uh, it depends on the application. It's probably a oh. 2-hour fire separation wall, which means 90 minutes. Um you you'll absolutely have to replace all the vision frames, all the glazing and all the glass. Uh that material is about $100 a foot. For the glass alone, because it's not glass, um, that absolutely has to be redone regardless. Um, and I don't. And someone's not going to recertify with uh, vision frames that are not in compliance. Yeah. Um, anything else about them? Um, no, but that's it. Should uh, be it. Yeah. Do y'all um, y'all sell doors in Oklahoma near McAllister anywhere or? or? Or is there somebody that puts them on, you know, close to here? I, I, we're in southern Florida. I don't have any contacts in your area whatsoever. I would be, oh. um, I, I, I would have, I would look up, you know, someone that sells hollow metal doors is what the proper term is. How do you spell it? H A L O O W. Oh, the word hollow, just uh, uh, as in empty hollow. I'm okay. sorry, my. Yeah, um, hollow metal doors, H O L L O W. Okay, you just look at it, uh, Google it in Oklahoma. Yeah, okay. absolutely. That that should be that should be okay. pretty easy. Um, okay, yeah. Other than the glass, if there's nothing else, and all the hardware is intact, all the hardware is also listed uh, and possibly labeled, and the doors are all self closing. And then the other problem you have is if and this could just be the deal breaker right here. If there is any gap on the door between the jam and the door and the header and the top of the door, that's greater than an eighth of an inch. Um, well, with metal doors, it can be three sixteenths. If there's any gap that's bigger than that, don't waste your time because they automatically oh. fail uh, the scrutiny yeah. of a fire test. Um, yeah. You know, you might have a heavy gap on one side of one door. Yep, that's not going to pass. So yeah. they, that you know, they, you wouldn't want to pay to some, have someone come out and put a gap gauge on the door and say, "Yep, it's a quarter inch." You either make that three sixteenths yeah. or less, or, or or it's new doors and frames. Anyway. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, we'll give the underwriters a call and see what they can do. And, and uh, well, first I'll talk to, talk to our administrator and see if they want to just go with new doors because. That sounds like it might be a better deal. And these doors are so old, and our buildings have settled quite a bit, and uh, probably wouldn't. Uh, yeah, you know, if they're, you know, if, yeah, if they've, if there's something fundamentally deficient about them, yeah, obviously replacing them. But you know, just because something's 40 years old, don't mean it's, you know, doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. But it's it is very yeah. unlikely they're going to to not be without some fault because the code has gotten exponentially more um, clear when it comes to fire doors. And, and 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 it's why people aren't dying all the time in the United States when it comes to fire safety. Um, that's the bottom line. You know, so my you name is that, Richard. Hmm? You said that glass definitely has to be replaced, though. Guaranteed. That is an absolute guarantee. And the reason I say that is because what you have there is either clear tempered glass or maybe plate glass or it's wire glass, either square or diamond. Because yeah, it's wire, diamond wire. Yeah, that's I the old school good. stuff. Back back in the day, that was okay. That that glass is never okay anymore. Never for fire doors. It's not even really approved for any application in a door because it's not a safety product. 
Okay. They what does do it have to be replaced with? Guaranteed have to be replaced if you're recertifying. I mean, what do you replace it with? What is what is it? Oh, called? so yeah, there's lots of stuff. It'd be ceramic. Uh, there's a lot of trade names for ceramic glass, and it's literally ceramic glass. Um, TGP Tango Golf Papa Technical Glass Products is a company that makes this stuff. Um, you know, so if you wanted to do some background research on what that gla- that that material was, you could. Um, and okay. keep in mind, everything we've just talked about, I sell. I just can't help you with the contracting part because, okay. you know, I'm down here. Yep. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I'll keep your number here, and I'll tell them, you know, if they do order doors, I'm, they'll look at you and see if, you know, we can order them from you maybe or something. But, okay. But I appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay. Hey, thank you. Bye. Bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. If you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please click subscribe as well and even share the video with someone that you know. And if you have any questions for a future video, please send them our way and we will make every attempt to oblige. And thank you very much.